Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I'm Hannah from Copy and Paste Painting. Thank you for, for watching again. I just want to explain today a few things regarding the how you go about applying base colors to your your canvas sheet. What we've done in a previous video is that I've showed you to actually go in with a soft pencil and draw the petals of the protea in pencils so that you can just differentiate between petals and the crown and the background and the stem and the leaves. So that we've done now. Now we're going to, first of all, we're going to sketch. Um, you need a hard bristle brush. The, I'm just using this round one. I might change it when I start, but I think this will be adequate to now draw my lines um, in acrylic. So I'm gonna be using acrylic today and I'm gonna just do the outlines and then I'm gonna be working in base colors. So base colors are basic. That's exactly what it says. If you look at the basic color, you have to differentiate what color do you see here? I see blue. I will use green for the leaves. So I'll use green to do the base color for the leaves. For the protea petals, I will use a pink or a, a rose madder color, or even a red, uh, or an orange maybe, and so that I can structure my petals. And I, for the crown of this one, I can use a yellow or maybe a green as well. But first things first, we need to, we have done our drawing in pencil so we can separate the petals. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna be sketching. I'm gonna do it in acrylic. I'm gonna use a dark brown burnt sienna maybe or a burnt umber to draw the protea on my stretched canvas over here. And then after that, I'm gonna be just basically coloring it in with the base colors. Okay, so I'm going to prepare my palette. It's my palette and I'm gonna be using a burnt umber to just do a drawing on my canvas. Okay, I've got a little blob of acrylic paint over there. It's still fairly wet, so I don't need to use my squirt bottle to keep that wet now because I'm going to be working quite fast. Okay, so start with my a little bit just on the tip. Start with the paint brush. Now you can see I've done all my little outlines, sketchy, sketchy, okay? You don't want a solid, solid line. You need to have soft and hard edges when you, when you do that. The trick is really just to the tip of the brush. Some places you're going to push a little harder and other places you're going to slightly lift your hand so that you get those nuances in your lines which makes it for a beautiful drawing that is the secret to making a nice drawing remember everything adds up until the end where your end result will be magnificent if you do it differently you might not get the same effect that i achieve so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to start with the base colors. I'm going to do the leaves in green, that in that rose matter color, and I'm going to do the background in blue. Now I do suggest that you start with the background because then immediately your subject matter will pop out and you will know exactly where, th where that is. So the blue that I have here is very very sticky it's not like the burnt umber that I've used that is more flexible or workable 
So this is where your spray comes in handy, your water spray. And I just spray that a little bit. Um, and then got that running down there. And then I can just mix with my palette knife, mix the blue so that the consistency is better when I do work with this blue. So it's still a bit lumpy, so try and work it, work it, work it, work it until you have a smooth consistency. Don't it's running off my palette here. I still got a few lumps in there, but that's not to worry. Uh, okay, now what I'm going to be using is a way bigger brush because the area that I want to cover is way bigger. So I prefer my flat brushes I'm gonna be using this one a flat brush and I'm gonna just very lightly put in the background color the whole idea about base colors is that you actually push quite hard on your brush to get that blue into the canvas okay so you're gonna oh, okay you want to be doing that and you are going to move that blue around so short strokes different directions short strokes different directions until you see the canvas is coming through we don't want that get a bit more paint on there and just keep on putting your blue wherever your the whole background is yes. okay so now I've just ooh, ooh, it's running I've wiped off my blue. I had the same problem with this green. Uh, my yellow is fine. So I've mixed this now and I'm gonna be doing the leaves in green and green and yellow, maybe where the lighter parts of the leaves are. I'm gonna do it in yellow so that I already get the tone, the different tones in or colors in yellow and in green in the in the leaves. Okay, so here's my palette. I've added a little bit more of the brown, the burnt umber. I've got a bit of brilliant red here, and I've got a rose madder. Now, when you work in base colors, the more water you add to a color it will become lighter almost like work when you work in watercolor so this might be a too dark for what I, I want to achieve so I'm gonna add a little bit of white to this um, or a little bit more water I prefer to use the white instead of the water okay so yeah I've added a bit of white now now the really the trick here is to mix and experiment with your colors i'm going to use a flat brush again but a smaller one oops almost i'm going to add a bit of the brown to the magic uh, oh, the rose matter sorry and to get a darker red okay like that and you must mix and learn and make mistakes before you get it right okay then i'm going to add a bit of white here separately i didn't clean my brush properly so i get a very light color it's very pink to me so i'm going to add a bit of that brilliant red because there are places where it is more red than what it is like that 
magenta color or rose matter sorry okay but I'm gonna mix as I go along you can if you want to go and mix all your colors but um, for me it's just easier to mix as I go along because I look at the dark areas I add my brown to make it darker and if it's lighter I add a bit of white and then I also if it's too pink I will add a brilliant red to that so for demo purposes I'm really gonna start start with the darkest darkest colors if you look at your color copy um, bring in your brown bring in your rose matter mix those two together and then you're gonna have a nice dark red so now the trick is really just to to look at your print there um, and to go into the areas that are really dark uh, I don't want that to happen so I'm going to just add a bit of my water to that uh, I don't want to paint over my drawing lines and I want to be a little bit more selective in in my choosing of of which colors I'm going to be using it's not as easy as the leaves and the background because it's a little bit more detailed but if you look at your picture you'll find the dark spots and start with the dark spots and go in there you must also remember this is not your final product so don't despair because you're going to be painting over this and it's just going to become more and more awesome um, look at your dogs like I said before look at your picture that you are copying and bring in the dogs where you see the dogs so I'm just gonna make this a bit quicker now Okay, so now you have a pretty basic idea of working with base colors. I did not cover all the little white spots there because of this being very intricate and, and things. So I think once you start with a oil paint, it will be easier for you to cover all those little things and there's still lots of dogs that must come in here. But that's what I want to do with base colors. Um, your lights and your dogs, I would rather prefer to do that once you start working in your oil. Of course, if you're going to be carrying on in acrylics, um, basically what you're going to do now is just to start painting thicker and apply a little bit more paint with a little bit more precision and looking at your original that you are copying. So this is basic... Um, for base colors so we will check in later and then we're gonna start with the oils uh, do a bit of palette preparation very important and then we're gonna start having real fun with this so this is this for base colors mm -hmm. 